Is the era of short squeeze over? And not necessarily. In fact, in this video, we're going to be talking about three uh, strong buy stocks that, according to Seeking Alpha Premium Account Analysis, have potential for some rapid gains to a short squeeze. For those of you who may not be familiar, a short squeeze is an unusual condition that triggers rapidly rising prices in a stock or other uh, tradable security, mainly uh, because there are a large portion of short sellers on a specific uh, stock. In this instance, many investors are betting on the price of that stock falling, but uh, the short squeeze actually begins when the price uh, jumps higher unexpectedly and gains momentum because a large number of the short sellers decides to then cut their losses and exit their positions, creating almost a vicious cycle of having the price of the stocks moving up rapidly. The content for this video is basically provided through Seeking Alpha Premium account. Uh, if you're interested to take advantage of that and check out the various different tools, analysis, and uh, top stock screeners that is available through Seeking Alpha, and be sure to check out the link in the description of the video whereby you would be able to get access uh, through a discounted rate provided to viewers here on Momentum Finance channel. The first stock for us to review is one called Assertio Holdings Incorporated. It is available on NASDAQ with ticker symbol ASRT. Even though this stock was down today by uh, 3% at the time of making the video, uh, in the one year, it is showing to be up by a massive 57%. This is while taking into account how overall the stock market, as we know, done poorly. For instance, NASDAQ has been down double digits, over 20% down last year. And this is then incredible knowing that uh, this small company, fairly small company with a, only a market cap of $207 million has been uh, doing so well based on its price, uh, the stock price. In fact, if you look at the smaller uh, time frames, the past one month, the stock price is up by close to 27%. However, if you look at the past uh, five days a week, it still is showing to be up by 8%. The Assertio Holdings is a profitable business. It has a positive price-to-earnings ratio, forward price-to-earnings ratio of 7.4. And as you notice, uh, the Seeking Alpha authors, Wall Street as well as Quant rating, all of them uh, suggest a buy or strong buy ratings. Plus, it's doing so well on a number of key uh, factor grades such as valuation, growth, profitability, and momentum. We're going to be taking a look at some of the estimates for this business. But before we do so, let us just walk you through what Assertio Holdings is all about. It is a specialty pharmaceutical company that provides medicines in the area of neurology, hospital, and pain and inflammation. This healthcare and pharmaceutical business is expected to finish the year 2022 with a uh, total revenue of uh, around $153 million. And in the following year, in 2023, it's estimated to be at $147.8 million. Uh, although it's, uh, it's lower than that of the, pre the prior years, in, in particular in 2017 or 2018, it is showing some uh, growth compared to the 2020 and 2021. As for their earnings per share, they are expected to have positive EPS in both 2022 and 2023. Looking at the, their valuation metrics from a enterprise value to sales, uh, the metric is showing to be at only at 1.52 trading 12 months. What's more, as for the price to book value trading 12 months is only at about one and a half, uh, which is a low number, um, suggesting an A plus valuation for this business. You see how as well, their growth, momentum, and profitability aspects are also uh, graded at A+, plus, uh, given different metrics that are identified beneath them. This business does not currently pay a dividend uh, and instead is repurposing and reusing its earnings to grow its business rapidly. As for the ownership stake in this business, majority of the ownership belongs to the public um, you know, and general public at about around 62%. Following uh, that, we have 37% ownership by institutions and the remaining 1.5% belongs to insiders and individuals. Lastly, we talked about the short squeeze. Uh, there is currently about 14% short interest in this business uh, or about 6.5 million uh, shares uh, shorting the stock. 
Our second business to look at is W&T Offshore, the ticker symbol WTI. It's listed on New York Stock Exchange. Uh, in the last trading day, it was down by close to 9%. However, over the past one year, this business has been up also by uh, a massive 56%. If you look at the return over the past one month, though, it's down by close to 22%. In the past five days or last week, it's down by close to 7%. That's that being said, still, this business is currently ranked as buy or strong buy with seeking alpha authors, Wall Street, and quant trading. It's also doing very well uh, across uh, various uh, factors such as valuation, growth, profitability, and momentum. We're going to be taking a look at their uh, the estimates for them from a revenue perspective. They're estimated to finish the year 2022 with a 926 6.9 close to 927 million dollars in revenue which would be the highest they've, they've had if that comes true over the past five years in 2023 that's expected to um, go down a bit uh, but it's still uh, finished off at a strong 813.9 million dollars in revenue it is still an estimate and these numbers are subject to change uh, over time as for the estimates for their earnings per share uh, they are expected to finish the year 2022 uh, with a positive earnings per share of $1.39 and 2023 uh, at uh, EPS estimate of $1.16. Just for you, those of you who may not be familiar, WNT Offshore is an independent oil and natural gas producer engaging in the acquisition, exploration, and development of oil and natural gas properties in the Gulf of Mexico. In terms of their enterprise value to sales metric, trading 12 months, it's at 1.2 ratio. Also, from a profitability metric, their gross profit margin is at 74%. WTI does not currently pay a dividend uh, similar to the other business that we just talked about. From an uh, ownership perspective, majority of the ownership for this business is actually by uh, institutional investors at 54%. Following that, we have about 34%. Um, stake belonging to individuals and insiders and only about 11% belonging to the public and other uh, groups. And from a short uh, interest, uh, there is a 15.4% short interest in the stock, uh, which the number of uh, sh shares that are shorted at close to 14.5 million. Lastly, we have nine energy services, uh, the ticker symbol NINE, available on New York Stock Exchange, which is up by a massive uh, 983% in one year, just incredible uh, return in one year time frame. It was down though by 12% today. The past week it's down by slightly, uh, you know, um, less than 1%, but just about 0.6% in the past one month, being up by 30%. It has a buy or strong buy rating based on seeking alpha authors, Wall Street and quant rating. Looking at the other factors, though, uh, particularly from a lens of valuation, uh, it doesn't necessarily have the highest. Uh, it's actually showing a deep plus. Uh, and similarly for profitability, it's not the greatest. However, uh, their momentum has just been amazing. If you look at the return, the past three months, 450% plus return, six months, 450 almost percent return and nine months, almost 309% return. Just incredible return over those uh, time frames as you're talking about. In terms of their earnings per share, they're estimated to finish 2022, um, if you look at annual, um, by a solid 57 cents earnings per share after two years of negative EPS and expected to have a much higher earnings per share of $2.29 in 2023. In terms of the revenue as well, that positive upward trend is expected to happen, uh, finishing the year 2022 at a solid $592.6 million in total revenue and finishing the year 2023 at $712.6 million, even better compared to previous years. And for those of you who may not be familiar, Nine Energy Services operates as an onshore completion services provider that targets unconventional oil and gas resource development across North America and internationally. As you notice, the ownership stake is somewhat divided um, equally between the four types of owners. Uh, they have a 15% plus short interest with two and a half million uh, sh shares that are uh, shorted currently. Nine Energy does not pay a dividend at this time either.
thank you so much everyone for watching this video until the end i hope you found it beneficial and hopefully it gave you some ideas about potential strong buys in the market that uh, have the potential for some uh, quick short squeeze definitely these type of stocks that we shared uh, could be riskier given how volatile they could be as you notice even just recently how they've performed so uh, i definitely encourage you to uh, do your own research and make sure you're comfortable buying any stock that we talk about uh, here on this video or any other uh, video that you watch here on youtube uh, these videos are really intended for entertainment purposes and for you to hopefully uh, get something of value from it uh, but of course be sure to do your own due diligence here on momentum finance channel we post every week several videos including videos related to investing in the stock market um, considering dividend stocks value stocks um, you know short squeeze st stocks we also talk about investing in real estate and crypto uh, as well as ways to reach financial freedom with that thank you so much and i hope to see you all next time